Let's talk about the Nikon D780 today, Nikon's latest DSLR. Nikon invited me to try out this D780, and I didn't say no. I mean, would you? <laughs> Let me be clear though. The first rule of Snapchick is that no one tells me what to say. I do often make positive reviews here on my channel because I love cameras. I've rarely met a camera that I did not love to use, but here's the problem. The only new cameras here in my studio in the past couple of years have been mirrorless cameras. Can I still love a DSLR, even if it's a new one, if it's not a fancy new mirrorless wonder? Honestly, going into my loan of this camera, I did not know the answer to that question. I do have a better handle on it now, but it may or may not be what you think. Let's start with some of the basics. The Nikon D780 is a full frame, 24 megapixel DSLR camera. It's got the mirror. It's the update to the D750, which is a fine, fine DSLR, but it is practically ancient as far as digital cameras go. This guy does have two memory card slots, unlike Nikon's current mirrorless offerings, and the battery life, as with many DSLRs, is amazing. For those of you that like optical viewfinders, that's what the mirror is for. No EV up here. You are truly seeing through the lens optically. What's different about the D780 compared to any Nikon DSLR before it that I've tried is that you can, with a straight face, use live view and video with it. In fact, it has many of the same features as the Z6, Z7, and Z50 mirrorless Nikons, as long as you're using that rear LCD screen. This is new territory for Nikon, a fast, responsive live view mode that can keep up with you and not hunt for focus constantly. And it takes the picture when you click the shutter rather than all sorts of action in the camera as the mirror wiggles around prior to actually taking the photo. If you dig DSLRs and have always been a bit disappointed with live view, you know what I mean. If that bugged you too, the D780 might right some wrongs for you. Both Raymond and I shot with the camera. Quite a lot, actually. In fact, aside from our vintage collection of the D50 and D70, our only DSLR currently is our full spectrum converted Nikon D810, which isn't a daily shooter for us, but in those situations where we want something very different from our photography, that full spectrum D810 answers the call. So anyway, the D780 was actually a bit novel for us for those reasons. As funny as that sounds even to me, considering that I shot with DSLRs for far longer than I've shot with mirrorless. This is a full frame DSLR that does the job of that classic DSLR camera while keeping up with current mirrorless offerings in many ways and doing it with the epic legacy of F-mount lenses. Let me repeat that, the legacy of F-mount lenses. The new mirrorless offerings from Nikon are designed for the new Z-mount with F-mount compatibility using an adapter, but only full F-mount compatibility with lenses with inbuilt focus motors. The D780 is F-mount only, no Z-mount lenses here, but it does have full F-mount capability. So we started putting that together, especially with our AFD lenses in our mind. Our 24 millimeter F2.8 AFD lens, our 35 millimeter F2 AFD lens, our 50 millimeter F1.8 AFD lens, and of course our latest F-mount lenses, even the ones with fully electronic aperture control. And you can use all of those lenses with this body that also has the face and eye detection of Nikon's mirrorless offerings, albeit in live view only on the D780. We checked one more thing. We took our ancient, but recently acquired, manual focus 80 to 200 millimeter F4 lens and we put that on the D780. No face and eye detection because you're focusing manually, but focus confirmation. And in live view, blinking highlights of the in-focus areas. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. <laughs> Our somewhat neutral attitude going into testing the D780 had shifted. While I do love my mirrorless cameras, we figured out the best way from our perspective to fit the D780 into 2020. Here it is. The D780 is for the lens junkie. You don't just have one 50 millimeter F mount lens. You have three of them from three different generations. You have film bodies on your shelf sitting alongside high megapixel cameras that basically shoot in the dark. You have an enlarger on the closet shelf, a photo printer, a slide scanner, and a lens that you've hardly used, but you bought it new, but it's years old now. 
you aspire to own a lens that hasn't been available new for over two decades, and maybe pops up on eBay once a year and it's more expensive than your car. When Nikon didn't put a focus motor in some of the lower end bodies, you sat puzzled, wondering why Nikon even used the word camera to describe them. In short, you're committed to the F mount across decades. Or if you're only a couple of decades old, you've built your collection on modern lenses and also maybe a few that are older than you. You'll put an autofocus lens on a manual focus body and a manual focus lens on an autofocus body without a second thought. You're not just a collector though. You've captured fantastic images, hung great prints, and you're eagerly awaiting until the world is normal again so that you can take that next great trip to that fabulous destination that will advance your own photography. You don't want Z lenses. There's only a handful available. You have your own lenses already. They work for you and you expect to own more. For you, Mr. or Ms. Lens Junkie, I present the Nikon D780. It's a highlight reel of Nikon's strongest DSLR and mirrorless features in one camera body, all with the legendary F-mount and that new mirrorless DNA in this DSLR, even supporting lenses that rely on the D780 body's focus motor. Take your 50 millimeter AF lens, put it on, shoot it through the viewfinder, check. Shoot live view with face and eye detect, check. Lock on an object and track it with the magical yellow square, check. 4K video with real-time autofocus that works, check. Albeit with quite a bit of lens noise. <laughs> I'm going to be careful with this next analogy because we don't know what the future holds for the mighty DSLR, but the D780 reminds us of what the F6 is for Nikon film bodies, that culmination of features, ergonomics, and intangibles that represented the best film SLR that Nikon could piece together after many decades of experience. The D780 is essentially that same body for DSLRs. It has the legacy compatibility while embracing newer features as well. Everything from a simple older prime lens to the legendary 70 to 200 f 2.8 VR and beyond. They all just work with this camera. Once all of that dawned on us, that's when we had more fun with the D780. We put aside the amazing sharpness we're getting from our Z lenses. We accepted that our F mount lenses, especially older ones, might deliver some chromatic aberration, minor focusing errors and soft images, especially wide open. We took that in stride, knowing that with the D780, we're getting the best out of those old lenses and our newer lenses also. I mentioned earlier that you do have two card slots here. Superb battery life, instant startup when you turn it on, a hot shoe, there's no pop-up flash, no problem. There's no thumb joystick on the back. That actually did surprise us a little bit, but that is fairly new for Nikon DSLRs and we've used many without it. There is no in-body image stabilization in the Nikon camp that is reserved for their full-frame mirrorless bodies. We did note that when shooting video, you can use electronic VR as well as, of course, any optical stabilization that's in the lens. Regarding the electronic VR though, both in the Z50 and in the D780, we found that it works best when the videographer is standing stationary and either just holding the camera or panning the camera around, but we did not find that it was an effective solution for walking with the camera. And a few last thoughts. You have the capability to capture high quality images. Low light performance is great. Those are all things that I take for granted these days because all new cameras that I've used in the last few years excel in those areas. You have good weather sealing on the D780, and you have a number of buttons and dials on the body, as well as options in the menus that you can customize to behave how you want them to behave so that you can enjoy your shooting or be as efficient in your shooting as possible. We will be bringing you more with the D780 while we have it, including an introduction to some of the newer features that are much like the Z6 and Z7. And then also our tried and true DSLR settings applied to this D780. Some of you are on the Z system. We are. Some of you have invested in other mirrorless brands. We've done that too. We don't 
plan to purchase this DSLR as we have moved into mirrorless because of how we work. But this is a great option for those of you that want a DSLR and everything that goes along with that. So who are you? Are you the lens junkie who looks at the new mirrorless bodies and says, no, that's not for me. <laughs> are you high tech, but waiting for mirrorless to mature a bit more? Or are you low tech and would enjoy the D780 on how it offers newer features while staying true to the legacy of the F-mount lenses? Or are you someone else entirely? Let me know down in the comments and keep your eye out for some additional D780 coverage here on my channel. And thank you for watching. <laughs>